Hey guys, welcome to Stoneheart Alpha 6 with me, Banto. So we're gonna start out the new game because uh, the previous is incompatible with uh, the new version. So we're gonna start out a new one. It's gonna go a normal survival game. And um, I think we can start out here. And this version, it was just released today on Steam, so I got really excited when I saw that they have been updating the game to Alpha 6, which I'm looking forward to a really long while, so we're gonna see what's new in this one, and it's gonna be pretty interesting. So let's start out with uh, placing down my town banner. And we're gonna name this time Bartek, just like the previous one, because uh, we had to restart directly since... Uh, this new version came out. So I think that this user interface does look a little bit different compared to how it did look before. Okay, traveler approach you with the bundle. I was thinking about joining your settlement, but it looks like you're even worse off than I am. The traveler would like to leave you one farmer's hoe. Okay, so he's not joining, he's just giving us one farmer's hoe. But that's pretty good as well, so. Let's start out with uh, chopping down some trees and this is one thing that's very, very good and handy compared to Alpha 5. You can actually see how big the area you're selecting is. That is really good. And let's go through this harvest and build and design. And uh, these do look a little bit different compared to before. Fight and defend. Okay, that's the alert one. Still the same, I guess. Designated zones. So we should just create a little stockpile. And we can also see how big this is, 11 by 8, 11 by 10. So I'm gonna make, um, I think, 5 by 10. Yeah, we're gonna store everything on this one. And uh, we should put out some professions for our people, and I think you do it here nowadays, yep. What did it say? Did it say that it was a farmer? No, framer, rain framer, you, you fooled me. Okay, so we're gonna make rain here. It's gonna become our farmer. The rain framer is gonna be a farmer. So that's great. And uh, Tristan, we're gonna become a carpenter. And I think this could be the last one of them that we have the tools for. Yeah, a trapper. We wanna have a trapper so we can be sure to get the leather resources so we can make nice armor for our defensive units, which will be the ones who's gonna protect our town from the evil. So that's really good, and uh, I guess the trapping works as they did before, so we're just gonna place out some area, so I guess we could have it here, pretty close to where the town is gonna be. I'm gonna try to make it not spread out way too much, because uh, it kind of feels like it's easier to defend if you don't have everything so spent out. Okay, so construct the building, and um, we have some uh, pre-made templates here, tiny cottage. And as we can see here, we can also see building costs. So this one costs four wooden blocks, one door, one lantern, one window frame, and one uncomfy bed. So you can see what things will require to build. And I mean, we could, we let's build one of those just for fun. So share the sleeping quarter cottage for two. Let's make a cottage for two, why not? I want to try this out. Okay, so you can see here the building here. I'm not sure if we can actually like rotate it. Yeah, we can rotate it actually. So it's on the dot to rotate it and the comma. You can go between them and rotate this building. And inside this building is already set out these other things that we required to have. So we need lantern, two window frames, two mean beds and a door and seven blocks. So let's place this out. Um, where could we have this? I guess we could... Um, let's have it here. And as you see we can place out more if we want to. Let's start with a cottage for two and a tiny cottage. And as you watch this, don't be afraid, I'm gonna make my own custom buildings. It's mainly like, okay, let me show you guys how this is going to look. So I guess I need to, yeah, build it. And wait a moment, it seems like we can actually go inside and even edit these things. It seems like that. Place furniture on decoration. We can search, draw, slab. 
I guess it's the... I would guess it's the... Isn't it... What's the difference? Floor and slab. I don't know what slab is actually. Maybe you guys know. And here's one huge difference as well. See the floor? It is not one block above. So it is actually gonna look way better. Let's start building this so we can see how this is gonna look. And I think we're just gonna start with out with uh, the first building here so we can get to one of them done. So this is very different. We're actually digging it down where we can have our little floor. And that is gonna look so much better. If you have seen this game before and watching my videos, I don't want else. Um, before the door, it's like when they open it, it like got like pushed right into the floor and it looks pretty bad. So this will be our first house and we can design our own houses and we should also be able to like uh, save them as our own templates when we're doing it. And definitely something we're gonna try out as well. But we should, uh, yeah, we should set these guys to work. The trapper is working to. And Tristan need to get a workshop. So we can actually start making these things that we are needing to make this fully done. And I don't know if there's any way we can like go in and see easily again. We could go and check it out here though. So, okay, a door, lamp, and window frame, and mean beds. Okay. But, okay, it seems a little bit different here as well. A locked at level 1. So, I guess the carpenter goes up in level, and that means that the carpenter will be able to make more advanced things. And these are some new things as well. Bright bell window box. So, you can take those flowers, which we didn't have any need for before, and... Make something awesome with it. That's really great. Okay, so let's maintain one of these beds. And let's maintain some wooden window frames. Four of them. And, uh, whoa, which door was it? Oh, that's cool. Wooden double door. That's awesome. I think it was just this basic wooden door. So we're gonna maintain one of them. And, yeah, we can make a wooden practice sword. We should try to get the weaver spin pretty early on so we can actually get started with making some clothing. So we can like get like comfy beds instead of the mean beds. And as you see here, the comfy bed requires you to have one mean bed and one bolt of clothes. So you should be able to like upgrade old mean beds into a better bed. So that is really, really good. Achieve level one carpenter. Tristan. Standard catalog. The carpenter can now make a solid array of basic furniture. And plus uh, 10 in HP. Let's check it out. I think you should be able to do everything now. Okay, so we need a little bit more experience to make comfy beds and comfy chairs. A weaver spindle. We're gonna make one of them. And we should start out with uh, growing some crops. So what I'm thinking about is to... Should we have it here? Hmm. Okay, let's make it here. So we're gonna grow some things here. We're gonna grow some... Oh, we can grow flowers. And that's a new thing as well. Before you could only make uh, silkweed, pumpkins, corn and uh, turnips. And normal dirt, I guess. So let's grow some turnips and... Uh, we can grow some silkweed. No, that's not silkweed. Oh, that was not what I wanted to do. <laughs> and there we go. Silkweed and... Uh, let's go for some pumpkins as well. We probably can... Or I think at least we're gonna need to have one more farmer for this. It's not really a huge field, not uh, according to me at least. But we might need it to be able to make sure that everything is gonna go good. So I've been really, really looking forward to try out Alpha 6 and I hope you guys think that, whoa, this is a big upgrade. I think they've done a really great job with its Radiant team, so that's really, really great. I've been looking forward so much to this and just having this way that you can see how big this is. This is such a big improvement. It makes the game look so much better and people are sleeping on the roof. That's not good. So how do we have it here? Food for shelter is 5, which <laughs> it 
is a bit strange. Maybe I've made it higher when starting. Okay, 4.7. It's going down. It's going downhill with the bar tech. So people are sleeping out, having a good time. Um, do we have everything? Okay, so we have a bed inside. That's great. We should start to construct our next building and start building it. So I think that um, after these, what did it say? Once you begin building the structure, we will not be able to be edited. You sure you want to build? Yep. And oh, we can actually change the roof, how it looks. Let's go for blue roof. That was pretty nice. Shopper found that you achieved rank 1 trapper. 10% more in speed and plus 10 in HP. So that's really nice that your people actually go up in levels with earning experience with the profession that they're working with and that's really nice. Not sure if these guys are actually gonna be able to come down so what I'm thinking about is actually make a ladder here because I think these guys might be stuck up there. Yeah, I was correct. So since they slept there I guess they removed the scaffolding and everything so... But yeah, I'm thinking about if we should uh, try to make a lot of those pre-built buildings. Yes, yeah, so you kind of can see how they will look in the game for the moment. So we can see like the dining hall here. It need lanterns, it need um, tables, door and chairs and window frames. So that would be a place where people would go and eat. I think we're actually going to make this one. I'm pretty interested to see how they are going to look and fit out together. So. Let's put down one of these. And what roof color should we have for this one? Let's go for a reddish. And what was this? A trader approaches. Hello, Bartek. I'm passing through. But even I can see that you have a skill craft in your ranks. If you make me two picket fence gate, I'll back in one day I might be able to give you two plushy toy rabbits. Whoa! In exchange, sounds good. Um, okay, why not? One day for us to make that. Okay, so let's go inside. We need to make two picket fans. Not sure if they are fixed or not, but we're gonna try to make two of them. Okay, we need more wood. Get some wood, get going. But this is really fun. I'm really excited about this patch. That is great. And I hope I'm not gonna run in to as much problems as I had before with Alpha 5, with AI, they were, they were getting messed up very often. So I'm really looking forward to see how things are gonna work out. And one thing I actually wanna try out uh, after I add some things here to the crafting. So we're gonna maintain some uh, shares. We're gonna maintain three of them. We're gonna need more than three for the dining house. We're gonna need, I think it was 10. And we're gonna maintain, do we maintain on the tables? Nope. Maintain two tables. And what more do we need? I think we could get a little bit more wood. Why not? So let's check this out, what do we need? As you can see, we can actually see the tables that looks pretty good, doesn't it? And it's pretty cool that we can actually go inside and switch around a few things. It doesn't seem like anything changes here, but at least we could do that with uh, the roof. And I think that was pretty cool. Let's start building this one. I don't know if they halted work with this one for some reason. Might be that I clicked something. So we are building our little dining house. And I really love when it's starting out in this game, everything is going so fast with constructing things, it's going so smooth. And this is such a big upgrade. So let's see how this looks. It looks pretty good. We should probably remove this ladder. It might create some problems, I don't know. We're gonna remove it, we're not gonna have it there. But I wonder if we couldn't... Let's start him to build that one again. I would like this actually to get finished, so we will have like this one brown roof, one blue and one red roof. So I'm probably gonna be making a lot of episodes with Stoneheart now that uh, 
Alpha 6 came out and really excited out to try it out and I hope you guys are excited about seeing the things for this as well. And I'm pretty excited to see how the AI works. We're getting attacked now. Go get him. Go get the goblin. I'm excited to see how good uh, the AI is going to work. If uh, they're going to be cooperating more like working together between the footmans. Are they going to like kind of alert each other or how is it going to work? Because it was, I would say, pretty bad before and... I really hope that they have improved that, and I do think they have done it, but we will see. Kind of depends what they have been focused on, if it's had been mainly like buildings and maybe the building AI or so on. One big update is definitely the building. I mean, having those templates, you can save templates, you can use templates, and in future definitely gonna be able to like share templates. Maybe download, maybe even sell them, maybe buy them. And that's good, so creative people can maybe earn a little bit of cash or at least share their creativity, so that's gonna be really awesome. So is it anything more that we will need to actually maintain for this house? I'm a bit unsure if I do maintain this um, lantern, so let's check it out. No, oh, we maintain no lanterns, so that's what we should do. Let's maintain two of them. And I guess it was uh, the same door for this one. It does seem to be the same door. So there's one thing like with this that uh, I would uh, suggest for them to change. I would kind of like to be able to go out here and then hold over the icons, even though you can see most of them what they are. Once the game gets more and more advanced, you're gonna need some way to like read what it is in a different way. But it is like placeholders and stuff, and this is such a big upgrade to the previous one, so... I'm really happy about this, really excited about it, and hope you guys enjoyed this, so... This is gonna be it for today with Stoneheart, and there's gonna be a new episode very very soon with this game. So guys, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more with Stoneheart and me playing this game. Thanks for watching, have a great day, take care.